Welcome to WCBS880.com. I am Felix De Jesus, and you are watching Yankees Daily. This program is brought to you in part by Billy Sports Bar and Lounge, the place to be before and after the game. The American League defeated the National League in the 80th All-Star Game played at Bush Stadium in St. Louis. The overall record now for the American League is 41 wins, 37 losses, and 2 ties. The National League has not won since 1996. For the Yankees, Derek Jeter batted twice and scored 2 runs. Mark Teixeira batted 3 times without any luck. And Mariano Rivera recorded his 4th career save in all-star games, establishing a record. There were a lot of stars on and off the field, and we caught up with Alyssa Milano. And Alyssa, in the all-star game, uh, first of all, how are you feeling? Feels pretty good. You know, I, I uh, just watched Jeter take batting practice. How awesome is that? I mean, how many people can say that? I'm very blessed. I'm having a great time. In regards to the uh, line of clothing, you still have that? Yes. I'm wearing it right now. And what's, what's the hottest product? What's selling? Uh, well, right now, all, all of this All-Star Game gear is, is selling really well. We did a, um, a few styles with the All-Star Game logo, which has been great. And, uh, you know, the denim sells really well. It's great because I, when I sort of pitched this idea, you know, three or four years ago, nobody sort of knew if it was going to work or if it was going to be successful. So um, to see it, you know, sort of come into fruition is a very rewarding thing to look out in the stands and see female fans wearing it. It's it's just a good feeling. I know you also have a series in, in TV that has to do with vampires. How's that go? Witches. Oh, witches. Okay. And that was canceled a few years okay. ago. All right. Well, they still show the reruns. <laughs> yes, the reruns are on all the time. You can't get away from it. And uh, so the, it's going great with the uh, major league product and these uh, um, new products that you have out on the on the uh, market. Yes, everything's great. And then last but not least, uh, Alisa, what can they expect in the future? It's, it, the movies uh, or what? I just finished a film called My Girlfriend's Boyfriend that will be out in 2010. And I'm waiting to hear about my pilot for ABC and whether or not they're going to pick it up for mid-season. Can you give us a little sneak preview of what's going to be? That one's called Romantically Challenged. It's a half-hour sitcom from the writer, uh, one of the writers of Family Guy. And it's, you know, the name Romantically Challenged sort of says it all. Remember, this program was brought to you in part by Billy Sports Bar and Lounge, the place to be before and after the game. Thanks for being with us.